every inquiry is a learning experience for us. Uh, I think people forget that a national inquiry of this magnitude and this depth with, you know, most inquiries are about a time frame, you know, what happened between this date and that date. We don't have that. We're not looking at specific time frames. We're not looking at sp specific actions. Like I said, we could be looking at 80 years of one case. So to me, that magnitude needs a, a different way of doing an inquiry. Um, and there is no rule book. There is no playbook. So we've learned a lot, even from one inquiry to another. And we just have to make sure that even if we can't get everybody in three days, we did 75 truth telling this week in Edmonton. We did 104 in Winnipeg in five days. Um, that takes 18 hour days just for the sheer numbers alone. And, and this is not a 15 minute interview as you've seen in the public spaces. In camera is about protecting the protecting the integrity of, of the truth of the family, but also ensuring that we are not in any way um, causing any trouble in an existing investigation. So a lot of in camera is that. It's also the decision of the family. Some family members, some survivors, don't want to tell their truth to the public because it's, you know, it's similar to the TRC. You know, the, the individual um, impact statements, a lot of people chose to do it in private because of what happened to them. I think part of what I, I appreciate the most from the commissioners and from the staff is that uh, resilience of being able to take stories, understand them, but also then focus on how can we fix this, right? So that's really what it's all about, is none of these stories are new to Indigenous people. So there's lots of them, absolutely. So um, it hurts. Uh, Paul Takaro this week when he said, you know, everybody wants to hear statistics, but who's counting the tears of the women before they died or were taken?